よくぞ我を召喚した。疑似サーバント、ムーンキャンサー、ガネーシャである。Hello everyone, I'm back with another Servant Quick Look to welcome the newest servants released with the new Lost Bell and Fate Grand Order Japan. I'm starting off this batch by looking at the new 5 star Moon Cancer class servant, Great Statue God Ganesha, who I'll be referring to as Jinako, whose form she takes. I'll be going over her skills, stats, and kit, and give you some tips as how to make good use of her. Jinako is the second 5 star Moon Cancer, and only the third Moon Cancer class servant in the game. She has very low attack at just 9166. The lowest of all 5 star servants, and below some 4 stars. But at 17,844, the Great Statue is the highest starting health of all servants, making her quite tanky. She is packing a triple arts deck with the arts MP, with 4 hits on all her normal cards and 5 on her extra. Her normal MP gen isn't the greatest, but having 3 arts cards lets her chain pretty easily, allowing her to fit in nicely in arts teams. And her star gen is unremarkable, but it is not highly relevant in her playstyle. Prosperous Business A starts off her skills with a bang. Functions very similar to Merlin's Dreamlike Charisma. The MP charge starts off weaker, but it reaches the same amount with a one turn longer cooldown at max level. However, it has the added effect of having 5 stars for 3 turns. I would have liked for the star production to improve with level, but overall it seems like a fair trade off, with each skill being better in different situations, which is a good spot for skill when it is being compared to Merlin's. It provides excellent party wide MP charge and attack, serving as a great support skill. c y b e r t u s k B is a very nice defensive tool, protecting allies and comboing excellent with invincibility. And it's paired with a huge attack boost that lasts 3 turns and a 5 turn cooldown. This buff makes up for a very poor attack stat, especially with Prosperous Business is active. v e n a y a Strength EX is another powerful utility skill that rounds out Geniko's set. Not only is the target invincibility strong, it's comboed with a very nice MP gen boost, although just a single turn. This keeps key servants alive from enemy noble phantasms and helps get their NP off when targeted. The skill ceiling demerit is extremely easy to work around and should have very little effect. And at a 5 turn cooldown, this combos perfectly with Severed Tusk, giving herself invincibility with her taunt up every 5 turns, letting her block single target NPs very easily. I love Ganesh Impact. 30% defense reduction to all enemies for 3 turns before damage helps dish it out. And it's packed with 2 defensive bonuses, each good on their own. Another form of invincibility frees up her third skill to protect an ally. And health gain helps sustain her in longer fights from the incremental damage she'll take. It's another very nice utility tool and a kit full of utility. Genico is equipped with three passive skills 20% debuff resistance is high, but often not enough to matter a huge amount. Riding rank A is a strong boost, but only affects a single quick card. And Divinity's B flat damage helps with a low attack, but is still unnoticeable a huge portion of the time. But free stuff is free stuff. Genico has a strong supportive kit with excellent tanking abilities. But class matters a lot in FGO. Moon Cancer is an odd spot for a tank, its class resistance is rarely taking effect and only getting her extra damage occasionally. It's important to note this, but I don't think it's enough of an issue to ignore her overall strength and potential, especially since there are so few Moon Cancer class servants and they are strong against Avengers, which, although rare, do show up and are strong versus rulers, the classic class of tanks. When it comes to craft essences, you're going to want to primarily focus on Geniko's supporting capabilities. Focusing on her MP gain allows j i n i k o to keep up her defense buff, protecting her from enemy hits, and keeps her health restored while lowering enemy defense. As her Magical Girl and Divine Banquet are great for the pure MP gain, and Fox Knight's Dream in 2030 help her work as a crit star generator along with Prosperous Business, if you're supporting crit servants. And when fighting Avengers or just doing extra damage overall, Formal Craft, Sign of Smiling Face, and Painting Summer work well. j i n i k o can be used to support a variety of servants, but she is excellent in arts based stall teams. Tamamo, Nero Bride, and Hans all work to keep Jinako healed up and buffed, while she covers her weaknesses to hard hitting noble phantasms. Combined with other tanks such as Mass, John, and the First Emperor, you'll be having a near unbreakable wall with alternating taunts paired with immense abilities. And for damage, Berserker Vlad benefits a good deal from the arch chains, NP, attack boost, defense reduction, and protection provided by Jinako. And of course, both BBs help take down enemy Avengers. Jinako is a strong tank with strong support capabilities. Who excels in arts teams. Her attack is terribly low, but her buffs and defense reduction can counteract that. Her class denies her class advantage a good portion of the time, but it's a rare class that doesn't have very many servants. If you're looking for a strong support or building a stall team, j i n i k o is well worth rolling for. And she's hella cute. And those are my initial thoughts on the great statue god Ganesha j i n i k o 
I love Jinako in CCC, and I like her fun character design. Unfortunately, I already have a strong Moon Cancer in Summer VB, and more Buster based team. But when it comes out in NA, I'm going to make sure to gobble up for my stall team. Let me know what you think of her and how I'm making good use of her. Until next time, later. What? 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 What?